Okay guys, so we're gonna try something really weird. First thing we're gonna try is hearts of palm. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Ooh, and I used to have an artichoke bush. Okay. It literally looks like mozzarella cheese. All right, let's go. Mmm. Not bad. I will say it's a little more sour than artichoke, but it's decent. And people have been saying to add mustard to it. So, okay. Here's some mustard. Mmm. Wait, with the mustard? A million times better. And then now a raw Brussels sprout, which is already washed and ready to eat. I've definitely never had it raw. Hmm. That's not bad. It tastes like a salad with mustard. You wouldn't catch me eating it every day, but have a little mustard, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I wanted to talk about four like triggers I have when it comes to like overeating or falling off track or eating when I shouldn't um, and what professionals tell me to do. So this isn't like triggers for binging or anything like that because as you guys know, I do not suffer with that, thankfully. Did the binge monster exist? Yes, I'll tell you that, yes. But I do suffer with like overeating. I wouldn't be the size if I didn't. So one of one trigger for me out of the four that I will be sharing is like unwanted emotions slash like wanting to escape those. So the pretty obvious thing to do when I do feel like say it's overwhelmed, anxiety, you know, sadness, depression, and I wanna like turn to food to like numb that out. Um, my therapist said, turn to hobbies instead. It like seems so obvious and it is obvious, but like in the moment, sometimes it could be really hard. So that is, that is why I do have so many hobbies and so many like childlike things that I like to do, Legos, whatever it may be, because like turning to those things actually helps me a lot because I would rather do those then put myself in a situation where it's just gonna make me gain more weight. So the second trigger for me is like other people's opinions slash like assumptions on the food that I'm eating. Like a good example of that is like, say I eat, actually, you know what? A really good example is actually my newest vlog. Um, I was having some homemade rice, broccoli, and like this honey garlic chicken that Feline made and a lot of people's like opinions and assumptions based on just that meal alone was triggering for me. Um, people were assuming they knew how much rice was on the plate even though it was measured out. Like things like that is highly triggering and from a professional standpoint my therapist says when I notice that that's happening more frequently and it's messing with my progress or like my emotions and stuff to just simply show less of what I'm eating. 99.9999% of what I eat is okayed by my dietitian. I have a dietitian, y'all. And for people to assume that it's not, it's just like, I don't know, it just really triggers me, so. Third thing is like, if I'm watching a TV show or like watching YouTube, whatever it may be, and someone starts eating something, like that is highly triggering for me. Like if it's like chips is a big one, Chinese food for some reason is a really big one. I'm not the biggest fan of pizza. I mean, I used to like really dislike it when I was younger, but as I've gotten older, I, I enjoy it more. Pizza is also weirdly one for me. Like there's like certain foods that definitely trigger that. So I notice when something like that happens, I simply just like turn it off. I used to just like, endure the pain um i used to watch watch a lot of mukbangers like be loves life um zaddy chunk chunk i don't watch mukbangs at all ever even though i enjoy the person it's like i just can't do it because it is so triggering so i just stay away from those things so the last one is like certain activities like 
if it's like movie night i automatically want to like order in dinner and like have popcorn or um if we're playing like mario party mario mario kart it's just something that's triggering for me because like in the past my brain automatically goes to okay so this is an activity where i usually would order food and like eat while playing so this is something i talked to my dietitian about and she said instead of just like not eating at all during those activities where normally i would just choose healthier options she knows that bora bora is my like dream is to go there so she <laughs> painted me at Bora Bora and I know exactly what clip this is from so I just think it's super cute that oh my god that she thought of doing this and it's so creative because I remember I was sitting on a chair and she just brought me to a spot that I've always wanted to go to this was like three years ago uh, my brother was in prison and he had someone draw this for us this is my brother my mom and me and I just wanted to show it to you guys it's just like really special to me. I was not expecting it when he sent it for sure. The psychology of the brain is is a weird one, let me tell you. I thought this was so cute. It's pink, but it also has a little scream moment. Rome wasn't built in a day. Am I right, folks? Hey guys, so I wanted to give another update on Feline's tattoo. She's actually going to get more done tomorrow. So if you guys remember Speak, no evil see no evil i didn't show you guys when she got this done but she finally got here no evil which this is my favorite look at him looks so good there's a band around his ears so yeah i think it looks so good and she's gonna get more done tomorrow pretty soon all right here is gonna be covered people were asking like where did i write on her arm like where did she put my handwriting it is right here actually it says so much so much so much because when we say I love you we always say so much it's just like something we do I didn't actually write that on her arm I actually wrote it on a note and then she surprised me and went and got that done and I was shooketh shook the lesbians be crazy lesbians be crazy yeah and she has a few other tattoos that has to do with me and like stuff like this pluviophile moment but um yeah People were asking, so I figured I'd show you guys. Hey. Tomorrow, me and Feline are starting a no takeout challenge. The challenge literally consists of don't order it. Like there's no goal, like go 10 days, go a week, go 30 days. There's none of that. It's like literally just don't order it. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about it, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna get me a freaking icy because starting tomorrow literally we're done I, I recommend these they're actually very low calorie but I mean obviously they have like a lot of sugar and carbs but if you're literally just strictly counting calories this slaps it hits when you need that icy I'm having like a moment 